Network Sport proudly presents this live and exclusive telecast of the Toyota Australian Women's Open from Melbourne's Kuyong Tennis Stadium. The richest women's event in the country. Your commentators are Peter Landy, Gary Wilkinson and Alan Stone. Thank you and a very good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Kuyong finals day in the Toyota Australian Women's Open for 1980. In Melbourne, a magnificent afternoon, forecast top temperature of 20 degrees and virtually an ideal day for tennis. A final between Wendy Turnbull and her opponent from Czechoslovakia, Hanna Mandlikova. Very good afternoon to Alan Stone. Alan, a replay of last year's Toyota Classic here in Melbourne. Do you think it will go the same way with Hanna Mandlikova winning? Well, <coughs> I, think, uh, I think it will be different uh, today, Peter. Uh, finals matches have uh, got a lot more pressure involved in a finals match than in uh, ordinary tournament play. I was very impressed with uh, the type of match that Wendy Turnbull played yesterday. I thought she played very cleverly against uh, Martina Navratilova. I think, really, that she could be uh, hitting her straps at the exact right time. And... Well, if you looked at stroke production and technique and natural talent, uh, you would probably select a man Lakova. But I think, uh, I think today it could be Wendy Turnbull's day. Were you impressed with Wendy's performance? I, I take it you were, but Wendy, do you believe she can serve a bit better than she did yesterday? Well, uh, as I said, um, I think the mental side of it's very important uh, in finals days, and I think that probably uh, plays an equal part as uh, stroke technique and stroke production. And uh, I think this is the chance that Wendy Turnbull's been waiting for for a long time. And uh, although you would have to say on paper that the other girl, the Czech girl, has got the better shots and the more perhaps natural talent, I do think that, uh, that Wendy Turnbull, this will be her day. All right. Well, uh, it is a big day, of course, for Wendy Turnbull because on the centre court last night we had an unfinished doubles match. Wendy Turnbull and Rosie Casals against Martina Neffert, Lover and Betsy Nagelson won set all. Um, so Wendy has to play out the doubles match. She may win that, and she may be involved in the doubles final as yeah, well. she's got a pretty busy day, but I think she'll be able to handle it. All right, Alan, we look forward to your comments yeah, thanks, throughout Peter. the afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please welcome now to centre court our finalists in the Toyota Australian Women's Open for 1980. From Queensland, Wendy Turnbull, and her opponent from Czechoslovakia, Hanna Mandlikova. Ladies and gentlemen, before play gets underway, would you please stand for the national anthem as sung by the Australian Children's Choir. Well, I've got to tell you, they are terrific. The Australian Children's Choir, they've done uh, a superb job here today, as they did at the Toyota Classic final last year. 60 boys and girls. They've trained very hard and perform at uh, an awful lot of uh, functions. 
throughout the year. And uh, I tell you what, uh, if they work hard, so do the players, and the players in this final are competing, among, for, other than the money, for those uh, trophies that you just saw. The Australian Ladies Singles Championship Trophy and the Victorian Ladies Singles Championship Trophy, which is also at stake in this match here. Let's take a closer look at uh, the tournament performances, the records of these two great players with Peter Landy. Our player at the northern end has had a magnificent record over the past five years in international tennis, winning the Wimbledon doubles in 78, the French Open doubles last year, the French Open mixed in the same tournament, the Italian Open doubles last year, and as a winner of the US indoor doubles. Overall winning 14 doubles titles last year with various partners. She was a finalist in the United States Open in 77, and on the circuit this year has won the Avon doubles at Seattle and Boston. In addition, she's reached the quarterfinals at Wimbledon, quarterfinals in the French, runner-up in the Wimbledon doubles, a semi-finalist in the US Open, was runner-up at Eastbourne, a winner of the US Mixed, and more recently, a singles winner in the Seiko Classic at Hong Kong, as well as taking out the doubles. So far, in the Open, she's defeated Lily Faroud, Sue Barker, Pam Shriver, and the tournament's number one seed, Martina Navratilova, in the semi-finals yesterday. Herself seeded four, she's ranked eight in the world from Queensland, Wendy Turnbull. At the southern end of the court, from Czechoslovakia, a player who was winner of the Spanish Open in 78. She won five titles last year, including the Austrian Open, the South Australian Open, New South Wales Open, and the Toyota Classic in Melbourne. Her success has continued this year with victories at the Volvo Tennis Club, the Davison's Classic in Atlanta, and the Stockholm Open. In addition, she was runner-up at the WTA Championships at Amelia Island, runner-up in the Sparkassen uh, Cup in Austria, she was runner-up at Las Vegas, runner-up in the US Open, and a semi-finalist in the French and Italian Opens, also winning the doubles at the Italian. In this tournament, she's defeated Elizabeth Little, Barbara Hawquist, Virginia Rizic, and Mima Yasevich. From Czechoslovakia, Hanna Mandlakova. <laughs> and our central umpire for the final of the Toyota Australian Open 1980 is Gwen Sumter. See the uh, the big man from Toyota is sitting in the southern stand, front row, with the white jacket and the Toyota cap. Mr. Sishi Kato, um, avid tennis fan and a very accomplished player for a gentleman of his age. I saw him play uh, three sets of tennis on the grass out the back here at Kuyong today, and. Uh, he mixed it uh, pretty well with uh, Bob Johnson from Toyota Australia, Betty Stover and Sharon Walsh. And um, I'll tell you what, he plays a mean set of tennis, Alistair. Yes, well, he looks in pretty good shape there. Great crowd. One minute, girls. Maybe there's something in the air, but I feel that today marks the real start of seventh summer of tennis. 
It's a superb day in Melbourne and a fantastic sight here at uh, the Kuyong Centre Court Stadium for the final of the Toyota Australian Women's Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, Toyota Australian Women's Open Singles Championship final match between Wendy Turnbull of Queensland and Hannah Mandlikova of Czechoslovakia. Best of three 12 point tiebreak sets. Wendy Turnbull won the toss and has elected to serve. Wind has sprung up just a bit, Gary. A couple of hours ago, it was just a beautiful day here in Melbourne uh, without any wind. I noticed it sprung up a bit uh, from the south, southwest, I guess, pretty much like yesterday. And uh, it's going to make conditions just a little bit more difficult than uh, originally I thought we were just going to be in for an absolute perfect day. Trouble uh, either player yesterday. Lines when ready. All girls ready. Wendy Turnbull to serve. Quiet, please. Play. Love 15. Well, just a little bit of nerves there from Wendy. Might take the players a couple of games to settle down. the danger for Wendy if she can't get enough first serves in. Man Lakova will be quick to chip and charge. Love 40. All three break points. First game, first set against Wendy Turnbull. boosting start for Hannah Mandlikova with the service break against Wendy Turnbull but we saw plenty of those yesterday in Wendy's match against Martina yes Wendy didn't serve all that well yesterday and uh, she still won the match but it was quite a shaky start a couple of double faults and uh, be interesting to see how Hannah handles her opening service game but of course she's got the benefit now of that service break so she no doubt will be just a little looser. Probably at 18 years of age, you uh, may not suffer from nerves anyway. Well, Hunter seems to have been around the circuit for quite some time. 
fact, she has been. Well, it's her third visit to Australia. And, uh, seems incredible for a player so young to have been here three times already and been so successful. And Amanda Kova to serve. Amanda Kova serving, second game, first set, with a service break in hand. Quiet, please. Men look over serving. Fifteen love. Slightly miss hitting that high backhand volley, man look over, but the result was good. I think we could say a devastating start by Hunter. She's right in form. Yes, a good service game from her. First serves in, no doubles. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> she's opened up in scintillating style. Love 15. Perhaps when you're only 18, you don't have any uh, finals nerves and feel the tension of trying to win a Grand Slam event. Doesn't appear so, anyway. Love 30. Volley by Turnbull. It is a magnificent start by Amanda Kova. Amanda Kova, she leads three games to love. No, she couldn't have wished for a better start. Two service breaks on Wendy Turnbull in the first three games. Yes, that opening game, Wendy contributed to the loss of serve with those couple of double faults. On that occasion, she served okay. Hannah just too good. Three winners. Betty Stover, uh, impassive as ever, despite the fact that uh, Hana is leading by three games to love. Uh, 
Betty's taken over, of course, as uh, Hanna Mandlakova's coach. Do you know the, any reason for that, uh, Gary? Of the no. two visits to Australia, she's been well controlled and coached by uh, Vera Shakova. I think the, the, the thing there was that Vera Shakova is... More of a junior coach. The, yes, officially the, the, the junior coach. Vera Shakova is the junior coach, and I guess they figured Hana was getting a bit beyond the junior stage, and Vera had a hands full with plenty of others. Mandlikova leading three Out. love. 15 love. Besides, I would think Betty's much more in tune with the, the circuit these days. Out. 15 all. back in the southern stand immediately behind uh, Hanna Mandlakova. Beautifully disguised approach shot. It looked like to Wendy and to just about everybody that she, Hannah was going to chip that across court. Game, Mandlikova, four games to love. Well, I don't think you'd ever see a more impressive start to uh, the final of a Grand, grand Slam event. Four straight games to Mandlikova in absolutely brilliant fashion. can do is just hope that uh, Hannah cools off a little bit. Tip. 15 all. Yes, it would have gone out because Wendy just got a racket to that. You may have heard the click and the ball sailed over the baseline by about half a metre. That was a fault. Yes. Has it been fault. called? Now it has. Wendy's not going to argue. She knew it was a fault. Double fault. 15-30. Wendy's really going to have to get her serve uh, into gear. Needs to get some good percentage of first serves in. What to do? Out. 30-40. Another <laughs> well, break point against her. Yes, yeah, so there's not much she can do at this stage while Amanda Cave is just hitting so freely. Winner's just flowing from her racket. She's just got to hang in there and, as I said, hope that Hannah cools off just a little bit. But if there is one thing, it could be just to get that service, first service, a few more of them into play. Game, Mandicova, five games to love. These must be the most frustrating times of all, Alan Stone, when you know you're not playing all that badly yourself. 
Well, it's... Uh, and your opponent just keeps... Uh, <laughs> hitting winners. Every ball. Well, Wendy's not serving well enough. That's a problem. Uh, Same yesterday. Yeah, she didn't serve well yesterday. And fortunately for her, Navratilova had one of the worst days on service that I've seen from her for many a long time. Five games to love. Hannah Mendlikova leading first set. And Mendlikova to serve for the first set from the Northern Ross Scotch College End. <laughs> Betty Stover. Obviously happy, but not showing it. I don't think the signal was for our cameraman either. I don't think so. Well, two set points. Five, please. Just as shocked as you are, and I think the crowd here at Kuryong would have non plussed as well. It's a devastating first set by Hana Mandlikova. Wendy Turnbull serving first game, second set from the southern end. Mandlikova's confidence really high. She moved well inside the baseline for that first serve then. Took it early. No, it's out. Out. 15-30. This is a vital game for Turnbull. Just can't get that service working. Seven games in succession to Hyder Mandlikova. Well, the crowd's a bit subdued. 
and so is Wendy Turnbull. Seven straight games to Hannah Mandlakova. She's broken Wendy's serve four times. Six love, one love. That's the uh, the tail of the match on the screen. Yeah, well, Wendy taking plenty of time with the change over there. She's trying to uh, collect herself. Knows that she really does face an uphill battle now. Crowd giving her a lot of support. And the cover serving. One love. Love 15. Out. 15 all. Double fault. 15-30. Nice man, the Cobras first for the match. Wendy Turnbull has already served four, including two in her opening service game. And the cover's down. All she's got to do is hit it into court. <laughs> 15 40. Quiet, please. Wendy's first break points of the match. One game all. Well, Anna had to play a, a loose game soon. Quite, please. And fortunately uh, for Wendy, it was just in enough time to allow her to stay in this match. One all. Fifteen love. Double fold. Five of those. Fifteen all. Yes, Wendy uh, doesn't serve well on windy days. We noticed that yesterday, and it's about the same sort of breeze today. Out. Out. Fifteen thirty. She can get back into this match if she wins this service game. There's a let-off for her. Very easy volley for Mandlakova, which would have given her two break points.
30, 40. She got a first turn in. Certainly made the difference. Yes. <laughs> Advantage man look over. aren't working today. Again, Mandela Kova. She leads two games to one. You balls, girls. Well, the serve is the big drawback for Wendy Turnbull, she's missed some volleys too. You can't uh, play someone of uh, Mandelakova's caliber when she's on a streak like this and get away with it if you're not serving well. Wendy defeated Martina Navratilova yesterday and Martina didn't serve well either. And Wendy managed to uh, tough that one out, but uh, this is rather a different uh, story to yesterday's semi-final situation. We've got Tana Mandelakova running red hot. Hard to see Wendy really getting back into the match from here. Well, her only chance, I think, is that uh, lack of concentration that uh, Mandelakova displays every now and then in her matches. She did play a loose service game the last game. But she's hitting the ball so well, if she continues to concentrate and hit the ball like this, there's no way Wendy can get back. She's not serving well enough. Love 15. Thirty. Good slice second serve there by Main Makova. That was a good return of service by Turnbull. And Lakova really moved well to pick that one up. Out. Game, Man Lakova. She leads three games to one. She's really giving a great exhibition of tennis, Hannah Man Lakova. 
Yeah, it's pretty hard to sort of work out what Wendy can try and do. She's got to try and get, I suppose, more first serves into play initially. That's about the only thing. She's just got to try and hold a few serves. And uh, when she gets the first serve in, then she can dictate the play a little bit. She can serve and volley. It's a very wide second serve and a very good one. 15, love. Out, well 30, left. love. Quiet, please, behind me. <laughs> 40, love. For the first time in the match, Wendy finds herself 40, love, up on service. the Prime Minister, Mr Malcolm Fraser, with uh, officials in the VIP section, the Southern Stand. Game, Turnbull, Mandlikova leads, three games to two. Hannah Mandlikova still with the service break in hand in the second set. So if Wendy's going to get back into the set and the match, He's got to break this next serve. Playing a little bit better. More first serves into play in that particular game. The volleys have been letting her down. Surprisingly, Wendy generally a good volleyer of the ball. She returned serve exceptionally well yesterday against Martina Navratilova. But she hasn't uh, been able to do that today. Very good crowd at Kuyong for finals day in the Toyota Australian Open. And tournament officials must be really delighted with the way this tournament has gone right throughout the week. I know one person that wouldn't be happy at the moment, that's Wendy, with the way the progress of the match has been going. But Hannah Mandlikova, purely and simply just too good. Mandlikova to serve from the clubhouse end, leading three games to two. Second set after taking the first six love. Out, 15, love. It's one thing Wendy does have trouble doing is passing off the backhand. She chips and lobs very well off it, but... Love. She can't come over the ball on the backhand side like uh, all the younger players today. So she has trouble making the passing shots. Oh, right on the line again. Amanda Cotha well on her way to the $32,000 winner's check. Plus a Toyota Corona car. Mandlikova. She leads four games to two. She must hold serve here, otherwise Mandlikova will be serving for the match. Out. Love 15. The perfect depth on that shot from Mandlikova in replay. Close to the line, but looked First in. Service. 
Mandela Cove has uh, been the victor of their last three meetings, including the Toyota Classic final here last year, and since then at uh, Las Vegas in the semis and Atlanta in the finals. Oh. Wendy's last win over Hana was at the French Open last year in the quarterfinals. Very close to a double. Out. Out. 15 all. Out, 30, 15. Turnbull missing a lot of volleys today. Really, she's uh, under tremendous pressure from the shots. It's so sharply from Mandlakova. Get another deep drive. 30, 40. Break point. Oh, double. double. Game, Mandlakova. She leads five games to two, second set. Well, this must go down as one of the quickest Grand Slam victories of all time. This uh, sort of reminds me a little bit of the Jimmy Connors, Ken Rose were Wimbledon final in about yes. 1975. One player just completely dominating the match. When you really, when you looked at the two players, you felt it was going to be a close encounter. And certainly it didn't work out that way. Connors just dominated that match. So when, Wendy looking right down the barrel now. I'm sure she's just so disappointed, uh, Peter. She got off to a bad start on serve, hasn't been able to recover, and uh, well, you give somebody like Mandla Cave, who's a very free-hitting, flowing player, you give them a bit of a start, and once they get into their confident stride, like Manor, Hannah was allowed to do so early in the match, how do you stop them? Well, Wendy hasn't been able to so far. To come back from here would really be getting up off the floor. At the count of nine and three quarters, wouldn't it? Mandlakova serving for the match, 5-2, second set. Love, 15. Wendy can do is just uh, hang in there and hope something uh, breaks for her very quickly. Yes, it has to be this game. Out. 30-15. Been a magnificent display from Mandlakova. First service. Only the second time in the match, Wendy finds herself with a break point. 
previous was in the second game of this set. Dame Turnbull, Mandicova leads five games to three. Well, as I mentioned, that's the only Quiet, fault please. in Mandlikova's game, those periods of looseness. So it's given Wendy Turnbull a chance. She's still down one break, though. 3-5. Fifteen, five. Wendy Turnley held service once in the match. That was in the fifth game of the set. That looked long. Forty love. Forty love. A oh, good good play by Turnbull. This holding this serve here, which he should, will put pressure on Manlikova to serve it out. He lost her last serve. That's out. Out. Game. Game Turnbull. Mandlikova leads five games to four. Well, when he gets up off the floor, I wonder if she can stay in the match. Mandlikova to serve for it for a second time. Well, she played a loose service game the last time, so Wendy would take heart and think, well, if I can just hit one or two good shots, Hannah might do the same thing again. Hannah's had uh, three breaks now in this set. She broke the first game, lost it. Served for the match at 5-2 and lost it, so she's lost to serve twice. That preceding game was Wendy's best service game of the match. She's only held serve on one other occasion. That was the fifth game of the set. Hanging in there. <laughs> Hannah Mandlikova making her way down to the southern end of the court. Mandlikova serving for the match for the second time. And if Wendy can win one of these opening couple of points, put the pressure on Mandlikova. Fold. She has to start thinking a little bit about it. She led 5-2, lost a serve. It's now 5-4. It was in. Oh, that was an out four. Out. She knows it. 15, love. That was an out ball. Goodness me. Well, she Ladies and gentlemen, took her eye off the ball, could you really. please keep your oohs and ahs down in the middle of a rally? It is rather distracting Let's have a look at it again. It's a perfect lob here. Hannah does well to even get it back. Fifteen all. Thirty-fifteen. And that's how you put away a volley. Just move forward, punch it. Beautifully executed by Mandlikova. Two match points. 40-15. Championship point for Hannah Mandlikova. <coughs> Out. 40-30. Well, Hannah was there. Picked the right way. Missed the volley. Still well, a championship point. Yes.
A little bit of a nervy period here for Amanda Kova. Had those two match points and missed volleys, so Wendy can sense still a chance. Double fault. Advantage Turnbull. And the chance for Wendy to break back and level at five all. That would be a great comeback in itself. Oops. Well, good play by Man Lakova. Under pressure, she just slowed down that first serve, made sure she got it in. Turnbull moving in, putting more pressure on. Perhaps another double. But again, the right play by Turnbull, chipping and coming in, putting it up to Mandela Kova, saying, if you can pass me, you've got match point again. And that's had a volley once more. Oh, and I just can't get that first serve into the deuce court. Turnbull. Such a good strike for her yesterday. Turnbull. Give us a break point again. A third one this game. First Magnificent fight Five. back from Wendy Turnbull. Love 15. And Lakova served for the match twice. Two match points in that last game. Should certainly have won it on the first one. She was right there for the volley, just went for too much. Miss hit it. Fifteen all. A little bit of tension creeping into Man Lakova's play. Rushing. Fifteen thirty. all two big points for Wendy here to put herself in the lead for the first time this set no out, out. 30 40 Well, just when Turnbull really looked like she was getting back into this match, magnificent fight back. Dropped a serve, five all, but uh, it was one of the better service games that she'd served, actually. And Lakova hitting three winners.
is coach Betty Stover. Impassive as usual. Well, I think she'd be feeling a little worried at the moment. Her charge is going to come out and serve for the match, but she's done, done that twice already, hasn't she? And failed at it. Maybe a third time's going to be lucky. Well, this time it's Turnbull first back out onto the court. Plenty of support for both players in this match. There's the score on screen, Betty Stover. Wondering if third time lucky for Amanda Cover in her attempts to serve out this match. Hold. Turnbull would be confident of a break back. Broken the last two Mandela Cover serves. She knows Mandela Cover is a little tense. See by that second, second serve just falling over. I don't think Mandela Cover is any good thing to serve this set out. Double fault. Love 15. Well, she may have released a little bit of tension there. She gave the racket a bit of a whack and grinned at the crowd. Turnbull played as good a forehand 15, as you could play. 40. That's 30 all, but Turnbull played a good as forehand as you Direction. could play from out here. What's the angle she gets on that? And the net cord for the winner. I think anybody else could have got that shot. Still a chance for Turnbull, 30 all. Boy, oh boy, that's some shot. Championship point again for Hana Mandlikova. Well, she's pretty nervous. That's it, though. And a great volley to finish off the match for Hana Mandlikova. Australian Open champion for 1980, defeating Wendy Turnbull of Queensland in straight sets. Coach Betty Stover, naturally very elated. Game, set and match. Hannah Mandlikova, two sets to love. Six love, seven five. Thank you, ball girls. Thank you, Lions. And apart from that uh, patch or attack of nerves when Hannah could sense victory, I think that's about as good as... Uh, you could expect to want to see anybody play in a final. Yes, I couldn't agree with you more, Alan. She dominated the first set, didn't give Wendy a look in, winning six games in succession. In fact, she also broke service in the opening game of the second set, making it seven in a row. Wendy came back, she broke back in the second, lost her next serve, held serve in the fifth game, dropped her serve in the seventh. Saved two match points in the 11th.